Welcome trainee, my name is Anna. I'm a space engineer. Eight years have passed since the doors of the nuclear shelter closed behind us. In 2041, a few minutes of madness were enough to change everything. Life on Earth disappeared almost immediately. It was May but in a flash it seemed like November. Those who survived the nuclear explosions were unable to survive the deadly radiation. There are no more living beings out there. No humans, no animals, no plants. The land and water are contaminated. The air is dense with humidity. The sky is covered by radioactive clouds. Eight years of survival fighting against hunger, despair, and the certainty that there was nothing left out there. Here, at a depth of 800 meters, our only light is artificial, and time almost seems to have stopped. The days get confused, and the hope for a better future fade, little by little. Food stocks ran out months ago. We were eating too much and did not notice that our ribosomes were stopping working and disrupting protein synthesis. In fact, we did not know that the barriers we had designed to protect the shelter, although they managed to protect us by containing 99% of the radiation, would not be able to prevent that minimal dose from poisoning our DNA, triggering a slow genetic drift begun as mosaicism, which in a few months will have completed its course. The thought of what lies ahead is unbearable, but we cannot give up. Not yet. Two years ago, in 2047, when all seemed lost, we received an interstellar radio signal. It was the reply to the one we sent on November 16, 1974 from the Arecibo Space Observatory. The message came from a distant galaxy, a mirage of hope in the middle of the desert of our destiny. The message was complex, a code that only after months of study we were able to decipher. The first part contained detailed information on how to repair our damaged DNA. It is a sophisticated genetic engineering technique that requires pure nucleotides, enzymes and mutagens used in a thoughtful manner, and in a gravity-free environment and at a speed of warp 10. The second part contained an interstellar map with planets defined as superhabitable, some only a few light years away and strikingly similar to Earth. Planets where perhaps we could start again if during interstellar travel, we were able to use the favorable conditions to repair our DNA. The third part contained a project to build a warp 10 interstellar ship we built with commitment and sacrifice using the few means available. We called it Voyager, and now is ready for the first mission. Although we chose Proxima Centauri which is only 4.2 light years away, the journey will not be easy. Will we be able to complete the mission? The day of departure is near. I will not go with you. I must stay here to direct the construction of other Voyager-class interstellar ships. As soon as you arrive at your destination, you will activate the radio beacon and give us the happy news. Thus, other ships will follow. Maybe bigger and faster. Now there is no time to lose. Before leaving for the space mission, you and your companions must successfully complete all the training missions in the order indicated. Only in this way can you earn the space geneticist's license and embark on Voyager. Gather your teammates and reach the training center. Once there, James will explain everything you need to know, and you can start training. Hurry up. What are you still doing here? There is no time to waste. DNA Voyager Kickstarter September 2024